Hey guys, welcome to Waste Not Wednesday. We go live every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Mountain Time and we take junk, things that we've gotten for free or close to it, um, and turn it into home decor. And we are excited today because we have not participated in Christmas in July yet. It's totally a thing. Um, we are designing for Christmas already with stencils and decoupage paper that'll be coming out in the next few weeks, but we haven't done any crafts. And so in an effort to uh, get ready for the grand opening of our shop um, and use up a bunch of lath, Zeb is going to show you what he's working on and what we're going to have um, in store only for the grand opening. Yep. And then because I can only make so you, many. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just going to show you a quick way to make over a nativity that may be broken. It is something we've done in the past, but I had to have something to paint. Yep. I, she's going to paint that while I got this assembled using the cottage colors. Looks like she's got some DIY. <clears throat> Excuse me some DIY and little black dress as well. And this is, you know, she says use up a lot of lath. It takes like six pieces of lath and we have 6,000. So it's going to be a hot minute before I go through that pile. <laughs> well, um, I'm going to need you to make like 400. 400 of these. Actually, I think if you make it simple enough, our kids could help put these together. Well, it's just, so this is, this is all the pieces and then these are going to be used for the back. And I'll show you how I'm going to do that in just a sec. So um we'll, we'll just go dive right in and get started i've got my nailer that i use you could probably use screws or even like a small staple gun these are these are quarter inch maybe maybe a little on the thick side of quarter inch because they're 130 years old but they work well um, oh that's you're gonna need that you're gonna need to put these on him i actually don't need a lot this. of it so when you're making a gray just remember, you don't need a lot of black. I, oh, that's probably a yeah, lot, a lot. I wanted to use gray. Do you think that's too much still? Uh, how, how dark do you want it to be? I want it pretty dark because I'm going to do a white dry brush. Okay. Um, I, I was going to put a, do gray skies, but I forgot to grab it. So I'm using little black dress, and I'm going to use white linen, and then I'll dry brush with white linen. All right. I'm gonna do Everything's just dusty over here. I blew the garage up finishing craft kits. Oh, including these glasses. Yeah. Well, I wiped those off. Those might just be Ugh. gross. Sorry. Ignore my um, water-stained shirt. Hopefully, it won't leave a water spot. My hair, I, I needed a shower in a bad way, so I had to shower right before we went live. But we did get these new farmerish t-shirts. If you remember, I had the farmerish sweatshirt. We have new farmerish sweatshirts in stock. They're a slightly different color than the last time. Um, and then we got these t-shirts, which I'm super excited about because if you know me, I'm kind of farmerish. All right. So I'm just going to mix about one part little black dress to five to six parts white linen and make myself a good gray and there's enough top coat built in i'm not going to have to seal these because it's mostly the cottage colors and then i'll come back after i paint them this gray color and do a white dry brush um, to bring out all the detail i did not bring anything to measure with what well i pre-measured the one and i cut everything out and then I didn't bring anything to mark the other piece. <laughs> Caitlin just got out of the shower too, so we're all clean apparently. In case anybody needed to know, the JR and Zeb showered last night. Like this is probably the cleanest all three of us have been at the same time in a while. <laughs> when you get busy, you know, sometimes you just yeah. go plop into bed and pass out. Well, I'm pretty sure Caitlin probably is a more regular shower than we are these days. <laughs> all right, so one uh, one piece of lath is the base. And oh, happy birthday, Jane. Happy birthday. Can't miss that. Okay, these are the sides. All right, we're good. I'm just trying to make this the right color. Now, there may be some people that are concerned that I'm going to be nailing by my hand. I nail my hand about three times a year. It'll be okay. <laughs> I've actually nailed my hand, too. So this is kind of getting the color I want, but I still need a little bit more black. It's better to start light and then keep adding than it is to have too much black to start with. And then you got to keep, then you make too much because you got to add too much white. Oh, Caitlin's getting her hair chopped back off tomorrow. I'm still, I feel it like. It happens in the summer. You know? I feel like it's easier to have long hair for me because I can just pull it back and braid it. It is a giant mop. This morning I was like, I really need to wash my hair. I haven't washed it in three days. And Zeb's like, yeah, that looks like a situation because I have so much hair. It's not just long. My hair is like very, very thick. I was like, well, why are you putting a shower off? Like, what? like it doesn't take that much time. I'm like, oh, 
It's because you got that mop of hair and that's, that takes a minute. You got to wash it, <laughs> condition it, brush it. All right. So these pieces here are the roof. I offset them just to give it a little character and detail. Um, that piece looks long. Um, I still, you know what? I still want it darker. It'll be okay. Oh, so you're going really dark. Huh? Yeah, because I really want that white to stand out. I'm going to have so much gray paint mixed up here. It's okay. You can use it on something else. Mm, slightly more. And dark. So I'm nailing straight down in, even though I've got my board at an angle. And this, I'm just kind of eyeballing, make sure the, uh, the angle looks about right. We'll go with that. All right, I'm going with this color. Can you guys see it? Yeah. So I nail straight at the board. Not you. You're fine. I'm going to get started I painting missed, my nativity. Though, my board. Lori says, is this going to be our next craft kit? <laughs> uh, we love you guys, but I can't even imagine how long it would take to cut out 200 of these individually. So I missed on that one. We're going to lay it down here. Our craft kits are done typically by our CNC machine. Um, last craft kit, though, we, Zeb hand cut it, and then we're like, okay, this is the craft kit. And then he started making them. He had to cut each craft kit individually and sand it. And so next one, we're well, going to make sure that it cut, doesn't take, because it, it took like three days. Which means by individually is the craft kit cut one out at a time. Usually yeah. I try to put one board on there and cut like six or seven. <laughs> Okay, so that's on there. No one was injured. We're good to go. Plus, I don't know that you could hold this together with just glue, and our craft kits need to be in such a way that people can not have to use power tools. All right, so this is going to look a little janky, and I am going to take it outside, and I'll re it, but I've already got these angled ends because what I did was I started these at the bottom, and then I just took the miter saw and set it up on the, the table there and zipped this off. And then I took a handsaw and cut this side. Um, so pretty, pretty simple. One wise man down. So these so here are going to be. This nativity was okay the way it was, but it had a bunch of chips. So we like to paint them and then give them either a white wax or a dry brush to bring out the detail. And it kind of makes it look like stone. So the angle is just a little bit different on this, but that's all right. So our plan for these is Zeb's going to cut out uh, a bunch of like Jesus, Mary, Joseph, and maybe a few animals because there's not you can't fit the whole scene in there. And we're going to make these to have available at our grand opening because we're going to have just some special things that you can only get at the grand opening. And then if they don't sell there, then we'll put them online. But we're we're starting to make things. I actually am hoping we'll see if I have time to make some soap with stuff out of the garden. I've been doing some research and we have some wildflowers growing that are actually really good for sensitive or irritated skin. And so I'm going to make some wildflower cucumber soap, maybe. Maybe. We'll see what time allows. <laughs> <laughs> well, soap is something you can make at night in the air-conditioned house. It's true. If I start now, I, how long does soap have to sit though? I don't know. Make My with, sister just made a bunch. So well, if you make it with lye, doesn't it have to sit for like six weeks? Maybe I can't do that. I don't know how long. I'm going to have to I, research I don't know some facts more. on that. I have grand plans. My mom made soap when I was a kid. I was the soap stirrer, not the ingredient mixer. So it took me probably about 10 minutes to cut these pieces out. And then this one here, I'm going to have to go cut because I didn't have an off cut on that. Diane bought her tickets for England yesterday. That's fun. Yay. All right. I'm thinking our next trip will be France, Provence, but I don't know if it'll happen in the fall or next spring. I am turning 40, so it'd be fun to go. And it's we'll always see. a work trip. It, so it sounds bougie, but mostly <laughs> we just go and like shop junk and bring it back for the Okay, so now that looks kind of, you know, it's like a standing birdhouse or something. I'm going to go outside, take the miter saw. I'm just going to cut a straight line there and I'll nip this little piece here off and I'll be right back. It'll just take me, uh, I don't know, a minute. Maybe a minute. So when you're buying nativities to paint, if you have a choice, sometimes you just get what you can get when you're buying things secondhand. 
try to find the ones that have a matte finish because it's gonna accept the paint and cover much better than a shiny nativity. I've painted both kinds, it will stick, but it's just gonna be a lot less pain if you can just paint it once. Jane says, I think it has to set for weeks. <laughs> well, maybe I won't have any. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll make some and it'll be available for the holidays. <laughs> or maybe I'll just make some and we'll use it here. I was just super excited that one of my wildflowers, I found it, I was looking on Pinterest at Soap, and it's really good. I can't remember the name of it, but it's really good for irritated skin. You can also make like tinctures and stuff with it. Yep, Deborah's going to be back at school next week. Our kids go back um, on the 17th, which is our 21st wedding anniversary. It's also a Wednesday. So we'll probably do Waste Not Wednesday and then go out to lunch or something. We're not doing anything special on our anniversary because the next week Zeb and I are going out. Um, well, Zeb is doing, I'm just going to cook and call in the elk. We're going to go elk hunting, try to get some meat for our family for winter. Um, but he's doing it with a bow, which if you know anything about that bow hunting is not uh, easy. So we're going to be, I told him if we don't get anything, it'll just be a very expensive camping trip. <laughs> That's what we're going to call it. Mostly we're just going to get away from everything and only probably have internet access like once a day. I think after getting the shop moved, we're probably going to need that break before the grand opening. What color is my t-shirt? Um, it's teal. So this is like a perfect fall colored shirt. Um, I wish that you could see it better. I'm wearing an extra large. I love huge shirts. I love to wear biker shorts and an extra large shirt because it's super comfy all day. We also got in a um, kind of harvest uh, orange color, perfect for fall, a shirt that says Country Roads Take Me Home. So those two shirts just came up on the website. Um, and they were just put in in the last few days, as well as the farmerish sweatshirt. And I love the country roads take me home because um, my dad's family is from West Virginia. And so whenever that song comes on in the car, my kids belt that out like nobody's business. Picture the Rays very off key singing country roads take me home to the place I belong, West Virginia. That's what basically that what's, I was just talking about the new shirt that we got, the country roads take me home. <laughs> I'm telling them that we sing it, we belt that out in the car. Yep, all uh, the kids join in, it's fun. They know all the words. All right, so <clears throat> it stands all right on its own, but I'm gonna add this little strip just to give it a little extra thickness on the bottom there. And I think the shirts go up to three X, so small to three X, which I love. Thank you. Caitlin just dropped the link to my shirt. All right. You can take your safety glasses off if you oh, think. Okay. We're done. I'll put this way up here. All right. So this one turned out a little different because I didn't cut this part off when I was I nailed it on. So now we just have this poking out. But there we have it. Two mostly similar crushes. And like Jamie said, we'll do some little cutouts in here. I'll have the CNC do that. I'll program them. But I didn't do that this morning because we were like, you know what? Let's do this this morning. <laughs> so if, yeah, well, we were originally going to take you guys live in the church because we're going to be using lath on the front of the thing. But I was like, that's not a great live video. So we yeah. might just time lapse and edit it. We do have an edited video coming out tomorrow. I filmed it myself and I edited it. I edited it. <laughs> so be kind when you talk about the editing in the video, but I just did a bunch of <laughs> thrift flips because we had to get it done. Zeb was in the garage doing craft kits. So I, I painted all the thrift haul film myself and edited it on my phone. So I feel like these with the, uh, the lath, they don't need anything really. Maybe like a light sanding so people don't get splinters. Yeah. Just a, well, that's like a, like a sanding sponge job. Yeah. This is the look though. I love it. I think it's good. You could also do like a white dry brush if you wanted to. You mean go get the heat gun? You want to pass those over? I'll start heat gunning yep. them. You want to do quick... a white dry brush on one and see what it looks like? Yeah. Because this... you could just hit just the like rough texture. Otherwise, this is going to be a really fast live stream waste not Wednesday. Why don't you do a white dry brush on one and I'll keep painting. Okay. If you guys are resellers 
and you want to have nativities for your booth or your store, now is the time to buy them. Because if you wait till Christmas, oh, maybe they're January gonna be gone. was the time to buy them. <laughs> no, there's still quite a few nativities, I find. If you start now, you can Oh, you're talking collect. about thrift store nativities? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thrift store nativities, now is the time to buy them because once people actually get into the Christmas season, it is imp nearly impossible to find the Christmas stuff in the stores. And they look so cute in a booth. And the thing about painting them is you can't really find these simple farmhouse style nativities in the store. So it'll set your booth apart and your store apart to offer these to people because they want things that match their well, decor. Well, and we, we don't find, I mean, occasionally we've got that big crash over there. Did you, did they even see that? Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know. We've I'll got this one that I I can't remember if I found it or Jamie. It was four dollars for the nativity and the crush. Yeah, we've we've been we've been getting them for a while. Now. I think we've literally had this sitting in the studio for two years. So this will actually be for sale on the website today. I'm gonna get this finished and listed because we have to start cleaning out that studio. We are moving in a week and a half. We're gonna start moving. It's happening. It's happening. And so I you may wind up seeing some stuff on the website. Uh, that we're going to try to get rid of before we move. So this brush just got washed. I'm trying to get all the water out of it. And uh, with a, so normally I'd sell a set like this for like $40. With the crash, I'll probably sell it for like $69.95 for the whole set. Okay, so dip the brush. Make sure I've got all the excess off. See if there's any questions. You could do this with pallet wood for the front yard, oh, like yeah. build a giant nativity. Yeah, build a big one. Oh, I want to do a big nativity at the church for um, the church shop, I should say, because it was a church and now it's a shop for the front yard. I am totally planning on hiring somebody to put Christmas lights in the big tree out front. I'm okay with that because I'm not going to put Christmas lights. All right. You know, my dad has a boom lift. My dad has a boom lift. Yes, he does. <laughs> Your dad doesn't live here. I'm sure you could get him up here with it. Yeah, I don't know. Your parents have a very tight schedule. Yeah. There's always something going on. All right. So I think I got it all done. So I'm going light at first. I might go heavier later, but I like to come in light just to see what it's going to look like. Okay. My um, <laughs> leg is on the gonna fall not sorry yet. we have a curtain rod under here if you don't know okay there we go i thought it was gonna fall now i can um get those dry and then we can dry brush them oh that i like it better with the white dry brush it kind of brings out the texture yeah it shows all the curve marks because this, this is man, rough let's go back here this is rough uh sawn lumber for sure Originally, we came up with this idea because I have a nativity in my collection, my personal one that my brother-in-law gave to me. And over the years, it's had some authentic battle damage. And so I didn't want to get rid of it. And I don't have the patience to completely rehand paint it. So I came up with this idea and we've loved it. And we've seen lots of you guys have painted your nativities over the years and it's been fun. I also really love it if you want some color to paint them like... Uh, Farm Fresh is really good with white wax. If you had like a bohemian style vibe, like a really bright Christmas, you could paint each one of them a different bright color. Yeah, you could um, do. And that would be fun. It's like when you go to like a train, like a Christmas train, uh, like toy train city that they set up with all the whole Christmas scene going. They've got all kinds of different manger sets and things going on. Yep. Maybe I'm the only one that's seen one of those. They used to do it at that hotel in Prescott. Oh, yeah, yeah. They No, it was the, the, the village is made out of gingerbreads. Yeah. Debbie keeps saying she's going to do a boho nativity, but I have yet to see Debbie Baird do a boho nativity, so maybe I should challenge her. To no get... challenges right now. She's as busy as we are. <laughs> Debbie Baird, boho nativity. Use the new uh, bohemian brights, maybe some pigments. Okay, so I did the back just in case it's visible because you could totally set this in the middle of a table or a coffee table or something. What size brad small. nails are you using? So, so they're they're 18 gauge in my Milwaukee nailer here and one inch. 18 gauge one inch nails. Oops. 
All right, so let's do a compare and contrast. Compare and contrast. Weigh in. Comment below. Do you like Eau Naturale or Dry Brush? Oh, I thought you were going to have a bunch of those cut out. A bunch of what? So you could assemble like 552 of them. I had time to cut out enough to do two. We, we didn't get back from working over there. And so every morning we go water the garden and the flowers because they can't withstand the heat like the grass or the trees can. Two votes for natural. Two votes for natural. Three votes, four votes. Jane loves them both. It's hard to, it, it's real. I mean, they're both pretty great, I think. Time-wise, if you're doing them, um, this one here. The white dye brush, I think, is nice because when you put a darker nativity in there, it gives you a little bit of contrast. It but gives it's not it like, like hint that. of snow. Bobby just ordered the farmerish shirt, and she likes natural. Thanks for ordering. We appreciate that. Yeah, I, I'm just going to sit here and watch you dry stuff out now. Okay. Are we doing you a dry brush You can start the dry brush. Those? Do you want a dry brush? Yeah. Usually, I'm the one that dry brushes, so we'll see. We'll I see know. how you do. Is, I got the dry? big shorty. That's my favorite for dry brushing. I've been but using let me... it. Are you going to practice first? No. Oops. Don't do that. Yeah, don't know my brush. To, well, I was trying to dry it out, but don't do that. It's dry. I already been using it over here. Okay. Melt all my bristles. Don't do that to your very expensive clean one. That's my favorite. Oh, I didn't realize it had paint on it. Yeah, I've been using it. I just dry brushed it. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. A lot of people saying, I feel like it's 50-50 at this point. So we'll make them, we'll probably have like 10 regular and 10 dry brush for the grand opening. So... Grand opening plans to give you guys an idea. If you're local, just so you know, the week of August 8th, let me just make sure my calendar is correct. Um, this shop will be closing down August 8th at the old location. We will be closed that entire week. So if you guys are going to need supplies, make sure that you come before that because we will not be available the week of August 8th. We will ship out every order that we can um, before that. And then while we're moving, then we'll ship out um, starting again the 15th. So we'll still be within our 10 business days. So if you guys are wanting things from our website, please order them now because we're trying to get everything shipped out um, as much as possible. And then um, we will reopen the shop August 15th for local people. The store will open. It may not be fabulous. It's not going to be the grand opening, but you can come and shop at the church starting August 15th. Or, sorry, 16th because we're not at open the, Mondays. At the shop, we're not. Yeah, at the church shop will be open <laughs> August 16th. That'll be the first day we're open. Some people location. have been very confused. That's why we're pushing it because they're very upset that we're calling it a church and that it's actually going to be our shop. And, you know, it hasn't been a church for since 1955. So for over 60 years, it hasn't been a church. So August 16th, you can come to the church shop. <laughs> and then we will stay open until the week of the grand opening, which is in September the grand opening is going to start on September 14th and we will be close or sorry, September 15th. I'm lame here. September 15th, which is a Thursday. So that week, the 13th and the 14th of September, the shop will be closed because we are going to be perfecting, resetting and stocking for the grand opening. And then we will open up September 15th, 16th and 17th for our grand opening weekend. Debbie Beard is coming. We're talking about doing an event Thursday night on the 15th. It does happen to be homecoming weekend. So the only evening that there's going to be anything going on at the grand opening will be Thursday the 15th. And then we will be there all day, Zeb and I both, during regular business hours on the 16th and the 17th for the grand opening. And I'm sure we'll have some make and takes and some fun stuff going on during the day. But the only evening activity is going to be September 15th. Or, yes. September 15th. Right, and I will you, update the event on Facebook. If you haven't joined on Facebook, that's the event page, but they'll have all the information in there. I got like a crease by the ear here that didn't get some gray. Where? By the ear. What ear? Oh, well, that happens, but okay. And these don't, these aren't going to get sealed because there's enough sealer in the color that I mixed and in the white linen. We'll let that dry. You might need to break that down without all the explanation again. Explanation again. We're what? going to be closed August 8th for that week. Yeah, we're closing and the week of August And then we're closing 8th. back. Then we'll reopen after that week for a little bit. And then we're closing back down the week of the grand opening to reset everything. And then the grand opening starts Thursday. 
on so the 14th of September. The last day we'll be open at our current location is August 6th. We'll be closed for an entire week, August 8th through the 12th to move. We'll reopen August 16th at the church shop. It won't be perfect, but we'll be open. And then the grand opening is going to be September 15th through 17th. And that week of the grand opening will be closed the 13th and the 14th to reset the shop. There we go. Is that what you wanted? This isn't quite dry and you missed a bunch of spots. Oh man, I better flip them over. Yeah, this All guy right. too. Okay, this one I fixed so you can dry brush that. All right. Well. All right, let me bring this close so you can eyeball it. Always flip your nativity over, apparently. Oh yeah, I missed a lot underneath. <laughs> Got a fun little shepherd here. But you can see how the dry brush really just brings all those details out. This one is still wet, you need to flip it over too. But the difference between the two. Oh, it's not focusing, it's focusing on Jamie. There we go. All right, missed some on this one as well. That's all right, we've got one that's ready. We got one that's ready. And this set, I don't think it originally came with this, right? I don't it, know well, it was together, but was I don't together know if this the is store. the original set, uh, set for it. Oops, I missed a few more spots. And we're not going to be painting this. Are you going to dry brush this? Some, I know sometimes you dry brush. What? No, crash. I'm not going to dry brush it. I'm going to leave it. I don't think, do you think, I don't think so, because it has all that uh, moss on it. That would be a mossy mess. Yeah. So it's looking pretty good already with just the one gray piece. All right. Sorry, Zeb, I'm getting there. It's all right. Oops, that's blocking. <gasps> hey, don't be reactionary. It was just safety glasses. Jane says, what do these people say about houses that some churches use as a church? Yikes, some people need to take a breath. Yeah, it's just it's, the way it is. People you, always got to have an opinion about everything. And, you know, if it was like... It was like deconsecrated a, in 1955. Like, it's not... It's yeah. just a building now. And the, I feel like churches are churches because of the people that use them as such. And when they dedicate them as a church. And then when they are no longer a church, they're no longer a church. I mean, I guess we could do nothing with it in, in 10, 15 years. It might have gotten knocked down. We're in the thick of birthday season here. Jack just had his birthday. Roderick has a birthday this week. Then my mom has a birthday. Then Harrington. Then Odelia. Then our anniversary. So... On top of everything else. We planned this out real well. <laughs> it's just a busy time of year for us. On top of everything else. Plus, it's like back to school and football and cheer. Redrick has football tryouts right now. They put them on teams based off of tryouts. Yeah, once you get – I think I think they're starting to do tryouts in fourth grade now because they have so many kids and uh, they've got to they split a bunch of teams. Because it started out, Redrick had one team in his grade. And then the next year after that, they had well, one team. And then after that, they had – Lehigh has just grown so fast in the last few years. Plus, more boys play football as they get older. Well, also, Can as – the screen. Yeah. As the uh, – you know, I don't know if this plays anything into it, but Lehigh has won the, uh, the 5A state football championship twice in five years. And they're looking to, you know, I don't want to jinx it. Cooper, who Delia's dating, says I'm not allowed to talk about it. But they're looking to repeat. <laughs> Cooper says you can't talk about it? Yeah, he's like, we're not allowed to talk about that. Coach says we can't think about that. we got to take one game at a time. Well, I'm like, good for Yeah, Coach, that's good but, for you, but we can do whatever we but want. But I'm, I'm over here as a fan at this point, you know, cheering the, 
the local high school on, and uh, I think you guys got got what it takes to win another championship. Well, a lot <laughs> of the boys that won the championship last year are seniors this year. Yeah, they, they had. I think they only lost like six or seven seniors that started last year, and most of them were juniors or even sophomores last year. So not that y'all care that much about Lehigh football, but it's it's a big it's deal. It's very exciting. Here. You're going to see all the posts. So Delia is cheering varsity this year. So yeah. you know it's going to be a thing. It's a thing around here. And, it, you know, my kids can be playing pickleball. And if that's what they're into, that's what I'm into. I, I do like football, but I like it because that's what my kids do. Um, they said, put your shepherd in the natural one. See what it looks like. Oh, he's a little big. But actually, no, it might, might work. That's actually, I made these a little taller. All right, we'll try it. All right. Well, I'm going to leave this over here for now so we can. Paint doesn't want to get in the crack. <laughs> I'll put the wise men on this side. That one's done. Okay. Come here, baby Jesus. So I'm dry brushing all the directions because it picks up any brush strokes Jamie got and adds a little bit more texture and it's just fun. But mostly this, uh, the cottage colors, it lays down pretty flat. Like Jamie brushed these and look how smooth this is. So that's the power of And the there is some color. DIY paint in it, but it's mostly cottage color. Yeah. See, see how smooth, like there's no brush strokes in this. And I like it because it's not super shiny, but it does have a sealer in it. If you guys are new here, you can pick up the paint and products that we use at JamieRayVintage.com. I have to put that little commercial in there because we always, every single video somebody asks. And so I'm like, I guess I should probably tell people. Also, side note, we have an app since we're doing a commercial. If yeah. you guys want like first dibs on things when they go live, you can have the app send you notifications and tells you when new products are up. Michelle says, love the white wax figures. I have done the same thing with white wax, although I'm not going to lie because the cottage color has a built-in sealer. Most of the nativities that I paint for sale in our shop this year will have the cottage colors on them just because it omits a step. You just paint it, you white dry brush and done. And it's kind of a reverse. So when you do the wax, it sits down in the cracks and then the darker color is on the high spots. And when you do a dry brush, the darker color, which is the base, is in the low spots. And then the white dry brush is in the high spot. So it's kind of like a reverse effect, if that makes sense. These are hot. So do you, is this what you're going to fix this cabinet with? That, yeah. Do you want to fix this and I will finish dry brushing? Because <laughs> that's it, gonna take me two seconds to fix that. I do need to go get my longer nails though. Oh, you need your longer nails? They're if out, you guys watch garage. Saturday's thrift haul, this is gonna be on tomorrow's video. But look how cute my cabinet turned out. It already sold, but I painted the inside white, which is actually a royal pain in the butt. However, I used white linen, so it has a built-in sealer, which omitted that step. I did forget that it had a built-in sealer, and I did put a thin coat of wax on it, so now it's really sealed. But I think it turned out pretty cute. And I always love to do, if I'm doing a cabinet two-tone, I like to do the white on the inside. So then whatever you put in it really pops. So whoever ordered this, it's going to get fixed. This was broken down here. I didn't realize it. And so Zeb's going to fix this little joint right here. And then this is going to go to the shop to be shipped. The other thing I have to do is get some nail polish remover. Do you guys remember that little clock that had a little hint of purple on it? The white... Uh, uh, what are those called? Magic Eraser did oh, not yeah. take the purple off. So I'm going to try some nail polish remover and see if I can get that off. It but actually looks that, like it might be nail polish. We'll see. Other than that, everything else from the thrift haul got painted. And I fixed my topiary too. I need to drop that off. I see that over there. All right. I'll go get my nails and you can dry brush. Here you go. The gray cottage color is becoming my favorite. It just looks amazing. I do love gray skies. It's like a really great, it's a really great color. So you just have two left. Yep. Here you go. All right. That's pretty dry. Done. And if you need some, there's a little, little bit down there. It's 
So I think you've got, do we not have a Joseph? What? Because just... that looks like a shepherd. That's going to be Joseph. No, that's the shepherd. He's holding the sheep. So one shepherd and you're going to have that be or Joseph? Or this one can be, that could be Joseph because he could have a sheep on his lap while he's looking at his baby. I actually think this one's Joseph because he's kneeling. But so he's would... holding the sheep. That's got to be a shepherd. You know, whatever. I'm going to make him Joseph. All right. Works for me. You, if if you were in the nativity scene, you love animals. If a sheep came up to you, you'd be picking it up. Even if you had a new baby there, the baby's sleeping. You play with the play with the sheep. I mean, Joseph is important because he's a good egg, but really, it's about Mary and Jesus. Hey, he was a really good stepdad. A great example. All right. Because this guy has a lantern, so who is he? So maybe Joseph is holding the lantern. Because this just, guy looks like I a kid, like, like Mary's bigger than I him. I feel like aesthetically, it's good to like have them like this because they're the same height. And then this guy's over here holding the lantern for the sheepy. And then you got the wise men, see? Pipe in, who's going to be Joseph in our scene? <laughs> Is, dry is that dry brushing with cottage colors or wax? So I'm using cottage colors and white linen. We are not using wax on this. Yeah. Wax has to be like buffed in and it would work just fine in this application, but we are dry brushing because once we're done dry brushing, we are done. Oh my goodness. Do you guys have flies where you live? We have less flies since we moved the farm animals over to the church shop, but we still have flies and they're making me crazy. Lehigh is kind of an agricultural city. So even though we don't have chickens, like our neighbors all do. Back today, I was driving down the road and somebody had their horse just next to the side of the road. One of the things I love about Lehigh. All right, let's all right, see done. about fixing this. It'll be easy. This is going to take like a half a second. I put inch and a half nails is, in there. Is it a now. lantern or gift? No, that's a lantern. So that's a lantern. And then these are the wise men. And then. I feel like we're missing Joseph and that is also a shepherd, but it's going to work. Oh, you mean like that? So yeah. That would have been a Joseph. So yeah, I think that's better. Okay, fine. Joseph is be like, let me see the baby's face with the lantern. Yeah, you know, he's showing him off. <laughs> Kathy says, you're bringing back great memories for me. We couldn't figure out who Joseph was in our nativity too. <laughs> the lantern guy is a trained good doctor. <sighs> oh, you guys want to update about the baby chicks? I'll go get one for you. You guys want to see the baby chicks? All right, well, while you're gone, I'll fix this. You I fix this and I'll bring a chicken. So this is bonus footage here. Not really. It's pretty simple. Um, cannot tell you how much this little nail gun here has come in handy. We put all of the uh, we put all of the shiplap up in the house with it, um, used it to do a bunch of floors. It had been hard used before that. So it's just, and I use it all the time, like every, all the little crafts. Okay, so this is how hard this is going to be to fix. So I switched out the nails, no longer using one inch. We're at inch and a half. Oh, I ran it out the top. Twice. Jamie was worried about that. Don't tell her I did it. Okay. So now I got to get those nails out. <laughs> It's okay. Hopefully before she gets back, I shot. They curled up through the top here. Oh, well, she's going to have to repaint this a little. Shh, don't. don't hop off that. Uh, uh. She's going to know. Look away. This blew through the top. I told you that was going to happen. I know. I told him you told me. Oh. <laughs> Say hello. This is the smallest one. Oops. Put it down here. Oh. Oh, they can't see you. They can't see her. Put her over by, put her back here. For size, for size reference. There you go. She kind of gets picked on a little bit because we think maybe she's a bantam. 
I don't know. She's her a little small. Although she's pretty askew. She was a lot smaller than them, and I feel like she's getting she's just better. She's just staring. Don't jump off the counter though. Here, it's this is actually a little birdhouse, not a crush. There you go. Dana says it makes more sense to have Joseph holding the lantern to see baby Jesus. I feel like it's I feel like that's where we're at. That, that little bird doesn't know that people are watching uh, her on Facebook and YouTube. She's she's a sweetie. She's really timid. All the other birds literally are like a third larger than her. So we're make, we're thinking either she's a slow grower or a, <clears throat> a bantam in the mix somehow. The white one might be a leghorn or something because the white one's getting huge. Yeah, it's going to be like a 12-pound chicken. <laughs> yeah. So we have 18 baby chicks. They are hanging out in the house coop in the backyard. Did you see this fly? Did you see that fly? You want to go get it? You know what? The other day there was a bug on the outside of their coop on the, cause we have an old window as a door. Oh, look. Hey, um, don't poop on that though. You coming to see what I'm doing? I mean, I did wax it so we could wipe it off. Hello. Hi chicky. But anyways, there's a bug on the outside and all the chicks were going crazy, pecking at the window, trying to get the bug on the outside. <laughs> all right. I didn't I want her to here. jump off here. Hold on. Come here. Come here, baby. We thought about taking her out because the other birds were picking on her, but I'm like, you know what? If we have to reintroduce her back in and she's smaller than them still, They'll it's not gonna her. it's not gonna be good. Yeah. So <clears throat> we're good. So we'll probably keep the chicks here for another few weeks till they get big enough and then we'll introduce them to the herd, but then we have to keep them kind of bit separated. It's a flock. <laughs> what? It's a flock, not a herd. Oh, introduce them to the flock. But we'll keep them separated till they get big enough to not uh, fit fit through the chain link fence. Is that loud? All right. There it's fixed now. You don't have to repaint it a little. I'll or I will. I'll repaint it a little. Okay, I don't think we really yeah, have anything else. It. It's a short Wednesday. I'm going to go get back to work. We did get a new channel member, though. Oh, thank you for joining channel membership, Teresa. We will have another channel membership video probably not next week. Eh, next week, because we don't want to do it the week we're moving. So next week at 10 a.m. Mountain Time, we will drop the link in community for channel members on Facebook in the JRB subscriber group. Um, and I don't know what we'll be doing, but something fun, probably something related to the church. Yeah. We might even have <clears throat> internet over there by then and be able to live stream from yep. there. So we'll see. All right, you guys, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up shop, jamierayvintage.com for the paint and products and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY and baby chicks. All right. I got to I got to hit end. Okay. You stay there. Don't go to the edge. That's a long fall for your little legs. <laughs> we'll catch you.